Today's video is on the digestive hub model. All right, super quick video here to teach you guys the digestive hub model. And basically what we're looking at is we're in the abdominal cavity with the liver up here. Big brown thing is the liver. Then we've got the stomach right here, but it's being cut. So you can see the inside of the stomach, the rugae ridges. But normally the stomach would come across like this. Now the stomach connects to the small intestine. This first part of it is called the duodenum. In the middle here, we have the pancreas, this pancreas structure. They always throw the spleen in there. So the spleen is over here on the far side of the pancreas. And then this big green thing, which is actually green in the body is the gall bladder. So how does this all work? Well, Food comes down to the stomach and then eventually gets its way into the duodenum. And you'll notice all these different ridges here are called the plicae circularis. And there's a lot of surface area here. This is where the majority of absorption occurs in the body. How does that happen? Well, the food comes down, it gets digested, broken down into really small pieces. And then to get absorbed, though, it has to get to very very small pieces and it does that through bile and digestive enzymes well how do those enzymes and bile get there it's through the biliary system the liver produces bile bile emulsifies fats and then it gets down from the liver through the right and left hepatic ducts the common hepatic duct i'll zoom in here common hepatic duct and then at this point it could keep going down and it becomes the bile duct which would then enter the small intestine via the hepatopancreatic ampulla or if we go back up here you can store bile through the cystic duct into the gallbladder that's what the gallbladder does is concentrates and stores bile. Let's say you need some bile. It can be pumped out of that cystic duct right here and down the bile duct and into here. Well, that explains bile, but how about the enzymes? Well, they're coming from the pancreas. So here we can see the pancreatic duct coming over, pancreatic duct coming over right here. That merges into the bile duct to form that hepatopancreatic ampulla. Hepato means liver, pancreatic means pancreas. But do notice there's something else here called the accessory duct. There's an extra sneaky way here to get from the pancreas to the small intestine, and it's called that accessory duct right here. All right, we got some blood vessels here as well. Branching off what would be the aorta would be the celiac trunk. Celiac trunk has one, two, three things coming off of it. And this one right here is the left gastric. This one here is the splenic artery going out to the spleen. And this one way up in here is the common hepatic. Now the common hepatic is really short. It's gonna flow this way into the hepatic proper artery and split into a right and left hepatic artery. Right here though, we have the gastroduodenal artery going down to the stomach slash small intestine. This other branch though is the supraduodenal going down to the small intestine on top. What do we got here? We got the superior mesenteric artery and the superior mesenteric vein going to the small intestine and part of the large intestine as well. Way up here, we can see lots of different veins merging. This is probably the splenic. This is probably the superior mesenteric into this guy right here, the hepatic portal vein. This is the one that splits into a bunch of different branches, goes to the liver, 
eventually comes out as the hepatic vein and then goes into the inferior vena cava. And this has been your quick video on the digestive hub. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.